<laughs> so I was just watching a Titanic three days ago and uh, I think I might just be able to emulate a scene. <laughs> Hey guys, a very, very good morning. Ruben Donovich here. So we're here today on the other side of the island. It almost feels like I'm in Labrador Park. We're actually at Bukit Panjang. Uh, it's slightly unfamiliar territory for me. So we were just wrecking the place yesterday. Uh, and we found a couple of developments. One of them stood out for us and it was actually Senja Park View. So it wasn't as appealing at the start, but it got really interesting at the end. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's do this. Alright, so as I'm making my way to the drop-off point, let me share a little bit more about this development. So, St. Joe Park View was a BTO and it actually TOP'd in 2015. So, it MOP'd just last year, 2020. Uh, so, you get a couple of uh, transactions. You get 577 units here across three blocks, uh, ranging between 27 and 29 storeys. Uh, mix of two to four units, which we'll talk more about in just a bit. Um, I think what's very interesting about this place is when you come from Senja Road, which is just around the corner, it looks very inconspicuous. You don't realize that there's actually an entire garden space just behind, which again, we will check out in just a bit. All right, so we're here at the drop-off point, finally. Um, I think first glance, it feels like there's ample space. Yeah, it's sheltered as well, which is always a good thing in the event of uh, rain uh, and hot sun. There's also uh, seatings here, so if you're waiting for your grabs or your uh, deliveries, you can chill here. It's uh, just below 636C as well, so the three blocks are 636A, B and C. Uh, so again, very convenient, very close to the lobby, um, and it's handicap accessible as well, which is always a good point. And uh, as always, I think it's really good that there's a designated space for your drop-off because obviously that doesn't halt any traffic flow that comes in. And well, you can perhaps squeeze about two cars here um, just so you don't have to have a long queue or people waiting to be dropped off or picked up. Alright, so just behind the drop-off area, you get this concourse which uh, the architects 3PA have actually implemented here. Uh, again, this is uh, a little bit rare in BTOs, you don't usually get this much space. Uh, it almost feels like you could perhaps put a fountain here, like just massive space. You see kids running around, uh, adults going on their strolls, and uh, it just very, it feels very communal, a very uh, homely, warm vibe. Um, you know, just around the corner as well, you get a couple of fitness corners. And again, a couple of seating areas uh, for people to chit-chat, relax, and really just enjoy the peace. One thing I really like about this is that once you come in, you immediately get this big, open, uh, airy, light space. As opposed to many of the HGBs nowadays, which are quite cramped, dark. Um, you hear the birds chirping, it, but it just feels very homely. Um, it's, it's a great place to return to uh, after a long day's work. And on that note, check this out. <laughs> it almost feels like, you know, I'm just surrounded by these massive tall blocks. A crazy panorama. All right, so we're just swinging around to the back of the development where most of the greenery uh, and spaces are. Now, I think the first thing that catches my attention is this little stone structure here. It's uh, shaped in the form of a lizard. And in the backdrop, you can just kind of see uh, kind of the trees. I'm not sure if that's a willow tree. Um, we came here yesterday and we saw kids playing on this. It was a really very heartwarming uh, scene that we, we saw play out. And I think just on that note as well, if you have a look at the facade in the background, uh, it's very different from most of the HGVs that we see today. I think we've been to quite a few and they're usually very dark and it sometimes feels a little bit oppressing. So it's nice that this is uh, it's white, you know, a couple of colors. It's very cheery. Uh, overall, it's a very nice, happy vibe going on here. And so I just realized that this is actually called the Rain Garden and that lizard behind is actually a dragon called Draco. So, I mean, the more you know. Anyways, uh, just behind me is the playground. So this is the second playground that we've seen so far. And uh, beyond that as well is the nursery. So I think it's very family friendly. It's great. Uh, it's convenient as well, especially for younger parents uh, with kids who are just coming of age. You can also see some sitting here. It's not necessarily sheltered, so I think there's to note about that. And <laughs> look at this guy. He's so small. Just to give you a scale, this is, this is the size of my foot. <laughs> look at how small this is. So a director just told me that a better scale would be for me to sit on it. So why not? Job hazards, right? <laughs> Man, I wish Gib was here. <laughs> Alright, so we finally found some shade. It's uh, it's right next to the nursery and the playground. So thank goodness for that. It's a really, really hot day here in Bukit Panjang. Um, 
what can I say? I think this is, uh, it's very well put together. Uh, there's some sitting around. Uh, this is, of course, the common indoor space. What's interesting I noticed is that you actually have electrical outlets on every single column here. So it's great if you want to, I guess, set up things here, whether it's a, it's a wedding, you know, funerals, the, all, the, all those kind of events. It's also very breezy, very airy. Uh, you do get a couple of fans uh, around here again, so that's very considerate of the uh, developers to put it in. Uh, I think it's also very private, so you don't necessarily have uh, units looking in, although you do have uh, the secondary school just next door, uh, which we'll touch on in just a bit. And I think one final point is that it's linked all the way to the drop-off point. You can see the road ends here. So whoever's lugging in heavy equipment uh, for events, this would be a lot, a lot more convenient. All right, so we're done with this side of the development. Uh, we're gonna head up the hill right now, and this is not something I say very often, but we're heading up the hill uh, to check out more of the amenities. There's another playground coming up, so let's go. All right, so finally made it to the top of the hill, and it's a really, really hot day. Uh, and man, look at this. So first thing that you see, this massive playground, it's a lot bigger than the one we saw earlier. Uh, I think on that note as well, the feel that I get coming in here, it's, it's very secluded. It feels a lot more private. Um, more nature-ish, uh, as you'll see in just a little bit. So I was just watching a Titanic three days ago, and uh, oh, I think I might just be able to emulate um, more a scene. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're playing around, making a fool of ourselves. Uh, right next to the playground, I also noticed this uh, very interesting amenity. It's a barbecue pit. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's been cordoned off, uh, I think because of the current COVID issue. But it's, I think it's nice to have this implementation here. You get two different uh, table slash benches over here. And uh, another thing to note as well, it's a little bit more private. So some privacy here from the blocks. Uh, although you are exposed to the elements, so by elements I also mean mosquitoes and red ants. <laughs> and uh, on this end as well, you get a fitness corner, which again is very secluded. Uh, a little bit of shade from the trees here. Uh, we saw some gardeners just tripping the place yesterday. So it looks a lot more welcoming today. Uh, you can hear the crickets in the background and there's a couple of uh, sitting areas here as well. Once again, not sheltered, but Man, this is something you don't see very often in HGVs. So the cricket sounds are getting louder. I feel like I've just entered a dark forest. <laughs> uh, and I'm actually embarking on this uh, treetop butt walk. Uh, it's a nice circular platform, again, away from all the residents. It's completely wooden uh, throughout. And uh, you do kind of get Mount Faber vibes over here. Uh, just totally unexpected, really. What I really like about this space is how the sun actually shines through the leaves. So you kind of get like a magical glow. Uh, it's it's not the brightest of areas, but again, you wouldn't want this to be the brightest area of areas. Uh, it's quite a romantic spot. All right, so just coming around the corner of the boardwalk, uh, you come face to face with this view, which is actually the football field of West Spring Secondary School. So again, very unexpected, but I mean, if you're a parent of your son who plays football here this is a great spot to watch him uh, on that note as well let me talk a little bit more about the amenities here so you do get a couple of uh, primary and secondary schools i believe you have west spring secondary school that's also i believe a west spring primary school uh, in terms of walking distance to st john park view there is a west view i believe primary school so that's just around the corner uh, on top of that you have Chenghua primary and secondary uh, and Greenridge Primary and Secondary, all on this side of the map. You also get two junior colleges pretty close by within 10 minutes drive, which again is quite a rarity. All right, and in terms of other amenities, so Kopi Jams, that sort of thing, Sandra Grand is just around the corner, so that I believe has an NTUC uh, and a Kopi Jam. You also get to get Sandra Gateway, which is just on the other end. There's also a Kopi Jam there, so very convenient, very communal in that sense. And uh, in terms of higher end amenities, if you want to dine in, perhaps once the COVID restrictions lift, you have uh, Hillian, uh, which is just around the corner. A couple of minutes drive from here, you also get Bukit Panjang Plaza, uh, and really just a ton of other amenities in the area. In terms of uh, public and private transport, there are a couple of buses around the area. It does, however, take about eight minutes uh, via bus 972, I believe. Uh, that brings you all the way to Bukit Panjang MRT and LRT, that's about five stops. In terms of private transport, the KJE is around the corner, uh, BKE as well. So very convenient in that sense. All right, so just continuing along the pathway, we eventually come to this viewing deck from which we see this incredible view uh, not just of the highway, but also of all of this greenery that spans around. Now, I can just imagine if you're walking from home, coming down maybe in the mid-afternoon to take a walk once the sun is, you know, not that high in the sky. This is a great diversity of views. It gives you a very relaxed, tranquil feeling. 
almost feels like you're on top of of uh, this entire bustling city of sorts. And uh, at some point, it actually breaks away from a normal wooden path to, I guess, this metal bridge of sorts. <laughs> you do kind of get a sense of vertigo because the multi-story car park, I'm not sure whether you can see it, but it's just below. So I, I don't think I've ever been this close to a multi-story car park with, I guess, nothing in my way. It's pretty cool. But just when you think that that's about it, you get to the top of this hill and you see this basketball court on top of a multi-story car park. How cool is that? Uh, but as you can see, it's a full-size basketball court. Uh, again, this is on top of the multi-story car park, so you're not going to get much traffic noise in that regard. Um, and it's really nicely linked to the entire development. So notice how I didn't have to climb any stairs whatsoever. It's all linked throughout the development. Really, really cool stuff. And uh, right next to the basketball court, you have this fitness corner right here. Uh, not many in the way of uh, equipment, uh, but again, it's very spacious. It's a great place to, I guess you could do sprints here, run around. Uh, there's a couple of benches there as well for sit-ups. And it's just a very nice place to work out overall. Look what I found. So there's actually a garden here. I believe it's tended to by residents. You can just kind of make out a cute little bridge all in the corner. Uh, I think this is great. Like it's a great initiative overall. It enhances, uh, I think, community bonding as well. And it's always nice to have green spaces uh, tended to by residents in the area. Oh, and there are even mangoes here as well. <laughs> Talking about tropical paradise. And I also realized that you can kind of see the facade from here. So again, uh, you get that cherry, light-hearted feeling. Uh, on that note, we're going to head upstairs, have a look at the corridors, uh, the unit spaces, the layouts. Let's go. Alright, so right now I'm on the top floor. Uh, as you can see, there are three lifts in total here. Uh, they service first to 27 floors. Um, you can see seven units in total, so it's split into two ends. On one side you have three units, on the other you have four units. So let's go have a look. Alright, and actually just before we check out the unit layouts or the, the corridor layouts, I want to bring your attention to this incredible view you get from the top of here. Uh, there in the distance, I believe, uh, was a quarry once upon a time. And I guess maybe to share a little bit more history about Bukit Panjang. So it essentially means long hill in Malay. Uh, and back in the day, you'd have rubber plantations here. Um, you know, all these quarries, mining as well. And so look at all the highways now, the highways building. It's really testament to how far Singapore and Bukit Panjang has come over the years. So let's have a look around the corner. I think so far ceilings have been pretty high. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic. Uh, corridors are pretty wide as well. It's uh, also very hairy. It's very, uh, it's plenty of light. Maybe just in this small little area here, it's a little bit darker. Uh, but again, it's, I think it gives a little bit more privacy to the units just on the other end. So you don't exactly get private spaces here, but you do get a little bit of a nook, I guess, as you come out of the front. There's a small area to put your welcome mat and uh, potentially a small little shoe rack. And uh, on that note as well, so it's the first unit, the other units on this end, and then just two units behind me. And from here, you can just kind of make out that little park that we were at just now, the playground on top of the hill. Uh, that's West Spring Secondary. And some of the newer uh, BTO flats, keep a lookout for those guys. Uh, I think those are going to be very hot in the coming years once they're MOP. And uh, just on our way to check out the other three units on the other side, I did realize that there's a little bit of um, it's peeling on this side, being peeling. Now this development is about six years old again at TOP uh, 2015, so about five, six years old. Uh, and maybe it's time uh, due for maintenance. It's been pretty nice so far, but obviously just these little bits here and there uh, that need to be worked on. Now just continuing down the corridor as well, you notice that it's a little bit more spacious, there's a little bit more space uh, allocated you know, when you come out of the unit. Um, so as opposed to having four units, there's three units, does feel a little bit more spacious coming out. Uh, and you do get a little bit of a view from here, so some sloping terraces. Uh, you see it, it's cool in the distance, and again, all the nature downstairs. All right, so we're back where we started. We're finally done our development tour today. Man, it's a crazy hot day here in Bukit Panjang. All right, just so I don't bore you with the figures and the numbers, we'll leave the table of the unit mix, uh, the sizes somewhere here. And uh, I think just on that note as well, having been to all these mega HDBs so far with this incredible amenities, 
this does seem like a way more affordable option than many of the units we've seen. So often enough, uh, you see four-room flats coming in at 900 plus thousand, 800 plus thousand dollars. It's almost half the price here. And uh, you know, on that note as well, you have all these incredible amenities around the area. So it's been pretty positive so far, but uh, of course it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some points to note. Now I think perhaps the biggest one is really traffic noise. So we're next to a couple of roads next to the highway. So it could get pretty noisy during peak hours. Sanjo Road can get pretty busy. So if you do drive, uh, do remember to take note of that. A couple other things, it does get pretty dense here. You get quite a few sky, you know, high rise flats in the area. So it might get a little bit claustrophobic in that sense. And finally, as you mentioned earlier, it's about eight minutes to the MRT. So that's about five stops atop bus 972. Of course, uh, there are a lot of things that complement this development. So really, I think the biggest thing for me is the amount of amenities in the area. I believe the Sanjo Market and the Food Centre is popping up just next year. Uh, so be sure to look out for that in the area. The Polyclinic is coming out as well. So plenty of amenities in that regard. Uh, I think it's also very accessible to the KGE, the expressways. And views-wise, if you are staying in the north-facing units, you can actually see all the way out to Johor on a clear day. Now overall, if you ask me about my feelings on this development, I think unlike many of the HDB projects that have, I guess, over-promised and under-delivered, a little bit like the DBSS projects, this is truly a far cry. I think they've delivered on almost every other aspect. All right, so that about wraps up the tour for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed shooting it. Now, if you like that, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well so you get notifications when a new video pops out. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to hop on to stackhomes.com editorial for more quality realistic content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.